Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you will learn how to create a Gmail account. Gmail is a great email service because it's easy to use and gives you a lot of free memory. You can send emails full of pictures, videos, or anything else that you need to send to friends and family. With one Gmail account, you are connected to a lot of other services run by Google, almost all of which are free to use. You can use Google Drive, Google Maps, and YouTube without needing to log into or out of them one by one. Just log into one account once and you can fully access the rest. You can learn about many of these other Google services here on Tech Boomers. But for now, we're going to focus on Gmail. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to sign up for a Google account. How to make a unique email address. And how to make a strong password. The first step to using Gmail is creating a Google account. In your web browser, click the address bar. Type in www.gmail.com and press enter. Click create an account to get started. This takes you to a form you have to fill out before you can continue. Select each box by clicking it and enter the right information. Type in your first name and last name. Type in what you would like your email address to be. It can be any combination of letters, numbers, and periods. The at gmail.com will be automatically added at the end, so you don't have to type it. If the name you've chosen is already being used, Gmail will tell you. Looks like somebody already has this username. The simplest way to change it is to add a few numbers at the end. Gmail will offer some suggestions below. I'm going to click this one. When you found a name that works, write it down so you won't forget. Now, create a password for Gmail. Try to make it something that you can remember, but that's not too obvious. This pop-up window warns you if your password is too short or if somebody could easily guess it. Type your password in this next box to confirm it. To make sure you remember your password, you may want to write it down on a piece of paper and keep it safely hidden away where only you can find it. To fill out your birthday, click and select your birth month from the drop down menu. Click in the day box, then type the date of your birthday. Click in the year box, and then type the full year of your birth. By default, Gmail will hide your birth year. If you want, later, you can set it up to hide the rest of your birthday too. Click and select your gender from the drop down menu. You can choose female, male, or other if you don't want to disclose your gender for whatever reason. If you have a mobile phone, you can type its number in here. This will help to give you backup options to log into your account if you forget your password. You can also skip entering this information if you'd like. If you have an existing email account with another service, for example, Microsoft Hotmail or Yahoo Mail, enter it here. This is another backup option you can use to access your Gmail account again if you lose your password. We recommend filling in both your mobile phone and current email address if possible. But you can always skip entering this information if you'd like. Next, you'll have to prove you're not a robot. This is to make sure you're actually human and not just an automated computer program trying to quickly create fake email accounts. Just click in the box marked Type the text and enter the letter and or numbers that you see in the picture. If you can't read the text, click the circular arrow next to the box to get a new picture. If you're still having trouble, click the speaker icon if you want to type in something you hear instead. Make sure your sound is turned on. It should sound something like this. Please type every number you hear. Spaces are not required. Eight. One. For your location, click the drop-down menu. 
Scroll and select the country that you live in. Click the box next to I agree to the Google Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. If you want to read either of these documents, click the highlighted words in blue. When you're done entering all of your information, click Next Step. You may need to verify your email with a phone number. Click on the flag and find your country code. Then, type in your phone number. You can choose whether to receive a text message if you have a mobile phone or a voice call if you have a mobile phone or home phone. Click Continue. Whether you're getting a call or text, you should receive your verification code soon. Sometimes it can take up to 15 minutes. Enter your verification code and click Continue. You now have the option to create your Google Plus profile at this time. If you want to set it up later, click No Thanks. Your account is now fully created. Click Continue to Gmail. This takes you to your main inbox screen. You can use this pop-up as a quick orientation to Gmail. Click Next if you want to learn more, or click X to skip it. You are now officially in your inbox. And that's how easy it is to create a Gmail account. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself? Want to learn more? Click the blue button to check out more Gmail tutorials. Click the green button to find other website courses. And as always, click the orange button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest video tutorials.